What's going on, everybody? Have you ever wanted to solo travel? Well, obviously you have, because you're on this video I'm making. So I'm here to tell you the 10 mistakes you should not make if you're gonna solo travel. Let's get to it. So the first mistake you should not make is packing too heavy. The biggest thing I've struggled with when I was solo traveling was overpacking, taking way too much stuff that I really didn't need. Honestly, like, you need less than what you think. So, if I was you, I would take just a small bag, pack to the essentials, you know? Just take clothes, you know, a camera, laptop, certain basic things that you may want to bring. That's pretty much all you need to take. Tip number two. So, this is something that I really struggled with when I first started traveling was booking things too far in advance and thinking, okay, in two weeks I'm gonna be in this place, another week I'm gonna be in that place. Like honestly, it never panned out. I constantly ended up having to cancel uh, different trips or different things that I wanted to do. So if I was you and you're just starting out solo traveling, you know, if you have the time frame to just go and travel, don't book things in advance, not too far out. If you're gonna book something in advance and you know you're gonna do it, maybe book a day or two ahead, or unless it's something you absolutely 100% know you're gonna do, otherwise, you're just gonna lose the money. Tip number three is not creating a budget. Not creating a budget can easily run into your savings, run into your travel money real quick. Uh, that was something I struggled with at first. I realized, I'd look at my bank statement, and be like, wow, I'm spending a lot more than I thought I would, when in reality, if I had just created a budget and planned it out better, I probably would have saved, you know, a bit more money. Tip number four, staying in the wrong hostel. Definitely make sure you look into what kind of hostel this is. Is it more of a quiet? Is it more of a party or social hostel? You'll save yourself a lot of stress and headache and you know avoid even regretting to travel. I know a lot of people will go to the wrong hostel and immediately decide you know traveling's not for them. So definitely make sure you choose the right hostel to stay at. Tip number five. Tip number five is staying too comfortable. Try that food you want to try. Do that experience that you've always thought of doing, but you know, have been too afraid to do. Go talk to those people that may not speak your language, but you're, you know, at least trying to communicate. You know, doing things like that will really uh, push your solo travel experience to the next level. Mistake number six is not wearing the right shoes. Not wearing the right shoes can really be detrimental when you're solo traveling. For example, as you can see in the corner, those are the shoes I was wearing constantly walking around everywhere when I first began traveling. Now, those shoes are completely destroyed. Bring up mistake number seven not using the right credit card. My recommendation would be get a credit card that has good travel perks, that has really good benefits in terms of um, earning points on travel related purchases. And that way you can, as you spend and as you travel, a lot of that money you spend can come back to you to the point where you're purchasing full flights to get to other countries using just the points that you've accumulated from your credit card. Hello, can you hear me? Huh, my phone's not working. This brings us to mistake number eight, not having a proper phone plan. Some of you may not need a phone plan. Others, like me, you're gonna wanna have some kind of international data that lets you use internet freely in whatever country you're in. Hey, John, do you wanna go to that market today? Uh, yeah, Ben, I'd love to. But did, didn't you wanna travel solo today? Uh, nah, bro. Well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. 
Sick, bro. Then let's go. This brings us to mistake number nine, not traveling solo. Mistake I've made several times. Um, I would travel with either a group of people I met or you know, one or two individuals that I became really good friends with and I would just stick with them and travel, you know, all over. Which I had a great time, but I will say the times that I traveled just by myself, those were really memorable moments where it was just me and I was accomplishing, you know, whatever I was doing, whether it be a hike or going to this new town or new city by myself. You do succeed and do it by yourself, it is a very rewarding feeling. Man, can't wait to fucking solo travel. I want to meet all these cool people. I'm gonna become famous. All my friends are gonna think I'm super cool. This brings us to our final mistake, setting too high expectations. It's gonna be incredible, but don't set your expectations too high. Be realistic. There's gonna be days where you're nervous, where you're sad, you're disappointed. It happens, you know? It happens even when you're in the most exotic and beautiful places in the world. Oh God, that was a lot of mistakes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, my name's Benjamin, I'm eBright Explorers. If you haven't already seen any of my other videos, check them out. I'm a new YouTube channel that loves to travel, and I love to also give these tips and pointers uh, about anything I can when it comes to travel. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. If not, well, I guess you'll never have to see my face again. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.